Hey everybody, it's Robin, and I'm going to share with you a card that I made for my craft show I'm in next week. I'm so excited about it. I love this card. It's not, um, it's just kind of, it's traditional, but it's not, so. And I used the older, sorry, should have done that first, Christmas Solutions cartridge. Um... It came with my Gypsy last year when I bought it, so I don't have any of the printouts or anything to show you. But I used the sign, which is down on the bottom, row, and it's cut at 3.75, and then the tree is at 4.25 in height. So, and, yeah, so here they are. There's the sign, and then here is the tree and the paper I used is this paper it is the whole thing looks like this just a variety of different trees I really got it cut up so so that's our background and that's cut at five and a quarter by four inches and then this crackle paper I'm kind of using for like to look like ice or something but it's, I think it looks really cool. And then there's this golden dot paper that I've had for a while. Uh, I know I've bought all these at Hobby Lobby. The tree paper you probably can get there yet, but I don't know about... What am I doing? It's not the one I wanted to do. Uh, so the crackle one I cut at one inch. Um, sorry. Move that, didn't I? For the bottom, and I'm just lining this up on the edge. And once I get this lined up, I'm going to um, use. I'm going to distress the edges with Vintage Photo, and that's the color I've used on all these. When I first originally um, started cutting these pieces, I was actually cutting them to do two different cards. And I was racking my brain trying to figure out what I was going to it just nothing was working there's a little piece there I need to trim off so when I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this paper I was like oh duh use both the pieces together so that is what is happening so here's my tree and the tree what I did with to give it some dimension in that I took peeled paint from Tim Holtz and I went over all the edges and then I took it and just went around it in different spots, just nothing. I kind of went, un, you know, with the cuts too a little bit, just to give it some more dimension. So we're going to, and I, this is take 20, I think, of this video. So it's already trimmed on the edge. So I'm going to try to match it up as good as I can. And then get the top where I want it. So if I'm off camera a little bit, I'm sorry. There we go. So the tree is so cute and I wanted to attach the tree before I attached it here so I could trim that tree off on the edge. So um, the cards look so much nicer when, you know, it, and it gives them so much more dimension. Uh, if you trim them in some sort of ink, and the vintage photo is amongst our favorites. So. I cut that part out because sometimes it takes me forever to get everything. <laughs> to line up right and when I'm leaning over a camera and 
everything. I really struggle sometimes. So let's get all the edges with some of that vintage photo. It just looks so fabulous. I love it. Oops. And then we will attach this to here. Uh, I might even get this one on the first shot. I'm going to call that good. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. And then I already have the pop dots on the back of the sign. And what I did was I just took the vintage photo all over it and put it on a piece of paper towel and really pounded on that top part. So, and let's go down here in the bottom. Isn't it cute? And what I did with my sign is I printed it out from Word and I just, uh, I don't know who it was that showed us how to, um, I'm not good with words, so somebody showed me on a video how to do this better. Uh, so I cut out Santa's workshop at North Pole and I took the antique linen to the inside because it was white paper. So I took the antique linen to the inside and just um, kind of pounded it down because rubbing it with the ink it was smearing. And then took vintage photo to the edge. And let's find a couple pop dots. I just love these this card. I think I'll end up doing a video of all my cards that I've made. Um, it's a lot of work, but I'm having fun. I love doing it. And so, and there, isn't that cute? I don't know. I don't know if I should put something up in that corner or not. So then, on the inside, I'm using a strip of the dot paper. And then, throughout the card, excuse me, throughout the paper, it's got different burgundy trees. So I cut one of those, fussy cutted them out for each card. And then I'm using just a strip from the front of the card to put on the inside. It's so much nicer when we something's added to the inside, isn't it? And I used um, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to for my trees so they stay good since they're so little. And then the stamp I used is from Michael's. And it came in two... I got these at the end of last season. So I don't know what the name of it is. I lost the top. But these are nice... Um, I like those stamps. And I'm using the Merry Christmas. And I sometimes have trouble getting the right amount of ink on there when I stamp. And I think it was um, Christina Warner that showed us this to use your Versamark first. So this is an old one. You see how dirty it is. And this is what I use it for. Get it all sticky. And then I put it on the ink pad I want to use, and it stamps so much nicer. Let's stick that down one more time. And there's my Merry Christmas. Nobody says it has to be in red and green. So, isn't it cute? I may add something up there yet. I don't know. But I just love it. 